and Eric Sinner for today's non-conference matchup featuring the visitors from Hiawassee College and your TFC Screaming Eagles. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we're going to take this opportunity to honor our seniors. Our first senior is outside hitter number six, Katie Hall. Katie is from Flowery Branch, Georgia, and is the daughter of Vic and Pam Hall. She will be graduating in May of 2019 with a Bachelor of Science degree in Counseling Psychology. After graduation, Katie plans on becoming a certified child life specialist so she can work with children who are undergoing cancer treatments as well as supporting their families. Katie has played four years for the Screaming Eagles. Over the last four seasons, she's played 416 sets, accumulated, eight, accumulated 848 kills, 151 aces, 16 solo blocks, 44 assist blocks, 1,238 digs, and 38 assists. For the NCAA Division, South, Division II South Region, Katie has been awarded second team all region for her 2015-2016 season, as well as first team all region in 2017. She also was awarded the Scholar Athlete Award in 2017 and 2018. When Coach Slate asked Katie to share a few words about her time at TSC, along with a few words of advice for her returning teammates, she said, I love how supportive the student body is for volleyball girls. They're a constant encouragement for us. Also, Coach Slate and Coach B push us, and push us further into Christ daily, and that's what playing volleyball to me is, is to. That is what playing volleyball is about to me, to honor Christ. To her teammates, she says, continue to push one another in, in love. In the middle of the season, when assignments are piling up, you are tired of work, are tired of each other, choose love. Remember the love Paul writes about in 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, and strive to give and receive that love. 1st Thessalonians 2, 11 and 12 states, For you know how, like a father with his children, we exhorted, we exhorted each other, one of you, and encouraged you and charged you to walk in a manner worthy of God, who calls you in his own kingdom and glory. That's 1st Thessalonians 2, 11 and 12. Ladies and gentlemen, Katie Hall. senior is number 14, Caroline Miller. <laughs> Caroline is from Tampa, Florida and is the daughter of Ron and Cheryl Miller. She will graduate in May of 2018 with a Bachelor of Science degree in Sport Management. After graduation, she plans on furthering her education with a Master's degree through Ohio University. This is Caroline's fourth year of playing volleyball for Screaming Eagles. Over the last four seasons, she has played in 378 sets, accumulated 250 kills, 16 aces, 32 solo blocks, 43 assisted blocks, 208 digs, and 67 assists. When Coach Slade asked Caroline to share a few words about her time at TSC, as well as some advice for her returning teammates, this is what she wrote. Even though I never thought I would have made the decision to move 10 hours away and become a screaming eagle, I believe that God has really led me in the best path I've ever been on. Being able to follow him and make this decision has changed my life in a positive way, of course. Right when I walked on campus, I felt a difference in the community than I was used to going to a public school my whole life. When I walked into the, fall, to the falls, chills were sent through my body, and that is when I knew, just knew that God was telling me and calling me here and had a purpose for me. To all, to all of her teammates, she says, I want you to never forget your self-worth. Always remember that you are more than enough. Do not let anyone else tell you differently. Always put all your faith and trust in God, and He will never let you down. When you seem to be facing struggles that you may not see the light in, don't forget that you, along with myself, have so many prayer warriors behind you. You have God on your side. Remember, always look yourself first, and never forget to appreciate all of the little things in life. Never give up what you set your mind to. Lastly, I just want to thank each and every one you for everything that you have helped me through and have prayed with me and for me. The past four years of playing this sport we all love 
Hey, wait for every memory that I will always be grateful for you, and I am grateful for each one of you. I wanted to thank all the parents and the fans that have been stood alongside our team through the years. Coach Slade and Coach B, thank you for your stepping in and being there for me on and off the court. I'm so grateful, and I have had two strong-willed, godly men in my lives that I will always look up to. Love you both. To, all, to my parents, thank you for your constant love and support you have given me through the last four years and of playing the sport that I love and always making things possible. I will never be able to thank you enough. I love you, Mom and Dad. Ladies and gentlemen, Caroline Miller. Here's a note to Caroline and Katie from Coach Slate and Coach B. Katie and Caroline, we cannot believe how fast these last four years have gone by. Over the last four years, we have watched you both grow into women in Christ, as athletes as well as we are so proud of you. Thank you for your commitment to the TSC Volleyball program, program, but most of all, thank you for your commitment to show love to all your teammates you have had over these last years. Thank you for trusting us and for allowing us to be part of your journey here at TSC. Your willingness to go out of your comfort zone in order to grow as players, growing your relationship with others, as well as your relationship with Christ has been amazing to watch. As this chapter of your life comes to a close and a new chapter begins, please always remember, we are here for you. We are praying for you, we love you, and we're going to miss you. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Katie Hall and Caroline Miller. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you this time for you to please rise and gentlemen, remove your caps for prayer led by alumni Josh Joseph, and then we'll have the national anthem. Let's pray. Father, we just uh, thank you so much for this opportunity to be able to be here and just uh, to be able to glorify you through just a, a simple time of uh, giving you the honor and glory. Lord, I just pray for safety as uh, each one of these girls get out here and play their hearts out. Um, I just pray for, um, for them to stay safe, um, free of injury, and uh, Lord, that enjoy and have a good time and glorify you. Father, we thank you. To Jesus Christ. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, now let's get your starting lineups first for Hiawassee College. Number two, Courtney Jones. Number three, Courtney Collard. Number four, Sasha Middleton. Number 20, Leslie Summit. Number 11, Summer Sampson. Number 12, Whitley Fitz. Number 13, Cassidy Holliday. Number 16, Emma Nicholson. Number seven, Hannah Ferry. Number 33, Erica Schreiner. Head coach is Brian Whitley. And now, led by Sandalina Slade, head coach in her 24th season, and her assistant, Bethany Brock, the only four-time first-team All-American in TFC history. Let's meet the Spurs and the Tahani for your TFC Screaming Eagles. A 5'8 freshman center from Sefton, Florida, number three, Jessica Conley. A 5 foot 8 sophomore middle winner from Clarksville, Georgia, number 4, Natalie Thompson. 
A five foot five senior outside hitter from Flower Branch, Georgia, number six, Katie Branch. Yeah. A five foot seven sophomore outside hitter from Kennesaw, Georgia, number seven, Hallie Rainwater. A five foot eight junior outside hitter from Wellington, Ohio, number eight, Gabby Clinton. A five foot four sophomore DS from Mount Airy, Georgia. Number nine, Gracie Charles. A five foot eleven sophomore middle outside hitter from Oxford, Florida. Number ten, Aaron Carey. A six foot sophomore middle hitter from Westminster, South Carolina. Number eleven, Evan Smith. A five foot nine freshman outside hitter from Leroy, Illinois. Number twelve, Kia Miles. A five foot six junior libero from Fairhope, Alabama, number thirteen, Teresa Sullivan. A five foot ten senior right side hitter from Tampa, Florida, number fourteen, Caroline Miller. A five foot eight junior setter from Estelle, Georgia, number fifteen, Kaylee Glover. A five foot five junior. Yes, from Laceyville, Pennsylvania, number 16, Talia Hatch. Good afternoon and welcome to Dakota Falls College. I am Will Jones, voice of the Screaming Eagles, and we are coming to you live from Lois Delaney Athletic Center. Today we have your Screaming Eagles taking on the John, excuse me, the Hiawassee University Tigers. Your Screaming Eagles are 17 and six on the season, six and two at home, and six and four and away. Hiawassee is six and nine all overall, four and five at home, and two and three away. It's, we are right in the middle of homecoming weekend here at TFC, and today is Senior Day. If you joined us a little late, we dishonored our two seniors on the team. Katie Hall and Caroline Miller. I'm going to be doing this broadcast a tad different than I will would be. Uh, during the second set, I will go over Katie Hall's bio that Katie Slate read for her senior day. And in the third set, I'll do the same thing with Caroline, just in case you joined us late or you couldn't hear. Thank you again for joining us here at TFC Eagle Vision. Starting lineups for the Tigers. Courtney Jones, number two. Number three, Brittany Cottle. Number four, Sasha Middleton. Number 10, Leslie Summit. Number 11, Summer Sampson. Number 12, Whitney Phipps. Number 13, Cassidy Holloway. Number 16, Emma Nicholson. Number 21, Sierra Gaines. Number 22, Nicole Fritz. Number 24, Hannah Pargett. Number 33, Erica Schneider. And we are ready to go. First serve is up and good by the Tigers. Carey puts it over, and Aaron Carey has the first points of the game. And Sullivan will be the first server tonight. Fired over there. The libero on the other side will take on that one. Fired it back over. And that's going to find the back corner. And we'll get two points in a row. Phipps was on the other side, by the way. She's the one that got a hand on that. They'll set it to the bat. Awkward set exchange and goes out of bounds. Last touch by Holloway. Screaming Eagles taking a quick lead right here early in the game. To the middle of the court. Awkward exchange. Almost got the ace and it'll fall between them. And Teresa Sullivan has the first ace tonight. Miscommunication right there by Phipps. She over the net. Good dig right there. Almost goes out of bounds. Fit saves it. Fires that one in there. That was Natalie Thompson. And they'll get it over with Gaines. Great shot right there by Teresa Sullivan. Had to go down to get that one. They'll set it up. Far on the other side. And we're back and forth right here. Here comes Hall. Hall gets tipped and goes out of bounds. Sullivan fires it to the back. Another weird set. They'll get it over there with a the push. Here comes Thompson. Thompson's going to be blocked up front. And it finds some real estate. And the point goes to Screaming Eagles on a 6-0 run. Sullivan for her sixth third in a row. 
And a timeout already called by the Tigers. And we'll be back in 60 seconds with a six point lead. Welcome back to Lois Delaney Athletic Center on homecoming weekend here at Sequoia Falls. Serve number six for Teresa Sullivan is up and over. I'll fire that one over. Sullivan on the other side. Glor sets it up, and it's going to be for Talia Hatch, who didn't get enough on that one. It's going to fall short, and the point will go to the Tigers there for supporting the game as Phipps will go back to serve. Phipps to serve. Six to one, good serve right there. Almost found some real estate, but Gracie Charles was there. And Kaylee Glore fires it over. Glore fires that one over on the other side. Jones had that one. They'll set up for Phipps. Phipps fires it over. Sullivan on the other side. Miller gets it at the net, and a great save by Miller. And Natalie Thompson fires it over. Back on their side. Little back and forth right here. And Katie Hall fires that one and it's too much to handle for Nicholson. That one's fired to the back. That was Glor with a serve. And that one's gonna find some real estate. Eight to two is the score. Bear with me tonight. There's two players on the Tigers that are not on my roster, and they're not on the, the roster online. It's number six and number 20, so I do not know their name, so I apologize for that. Back to the action, Sullivan on the other side. They'll set it up, here comes Hall. The senior gets blocked up front, goes to the back. Phipps had a hand on that one. They'll push it over with Jones, or excuse me, Cottle. Great save right there by Glory. Here comes Thompson, over there, and they're not gonna get it over the net. And the Screaming Eagles will come on top in that volley. Back to serve is the senior from Flowery Branch, Georgia. Katie Hall. And it's a good serve. Phipps on the other side. They'll set it up. That was touched last by Holiday. Excuse me, Holloway. Here comes Hallie Rainwater. And Rainwater's first touch of the game is going to be a kill. 10 to 2 is a score. Hall back to serve for her second one in a row. That one's over. Good dig right there by Phipps. They're going to try to get that one over. It's going to shank off the hand of number two, Brittany Cottle. And the point goes to the Screaming Eagles. 11 to 2 is the score. Hall back to serve the third time in a row. Good serve to the other side. Holloway was the one that handled that one. That's going to be tipped up front by Miller. And Thompson is going to find the court. And 11 to 3 is the score as the Tigers will be serving. That one's hit over pretty well. Hall on the other side. They'll set up for Miller. Miller almost found a hole right there. It was sealed up pretty nicely by Jones. It's time for Rainwater. Good shot by Rainwater, and it's going to be out of bounds. And Hallie Rainwater has two tonight. Natalie Thompson to serve. Natalie Thompson to serve. Serve to the back, number six had it on the other side. They'll set it up, and Holloway puts it over. Natalie was ready. Here comes Rainwater, she's two for two. She's three for three! And a great job by Rainwater. 
She's touched the ball three times and has three kills. 13 to three and a runaway lead for the Screaming Eagles. Put it to the back, they'll set it up. And that one's gonna be hit off the hand of Brittany Cottle and go out of bounds. And Thompson's back to serve for three times in a row. She steps up in the middle of the court. She loads up and fires. Phipps on the other side, that's gonna find some real estate. And Natalie Thompson with the ace. Thompson fires that one over. Phipps a little better shot right there. They'll set it over. Rainwater trying to get to there. And her and Caroline Miller both went for it. And serving now will be Jones. Jones Courtney Jones is a sophomore out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. She sets up on the, her right side. And she'll fire it over. Sullivan on the other side. Lore sets it up for Carey. Carey fires one in there. Barely gets it over the net. And we'll live to see another day with Rainwater. Identical plays right there. Here comes Miller. Miller finds a hole. Caroline Miller on senior night. And serving now for your Screaming Eagles will be number 16, Talia Hatch. Talia's a junior, 5'5", out of Laceyville, Pennsylvania. Great serve right there. Went to the knees to get that one. They'll fire it over. Rejected up front. And Caroline Miller and, excuse me, Aaron Carey and Kaylee Glore with a block right there. Hatch back to serve again. High serve to the back. Handled nicely. They'll set it up and fire that one barely over the net to Cottle. Great diving save right there by Hatch. Carey will get it over. Back on their side. 20 goes up. And it's going to be a net violation called on the Tigers. And the point goes to your Screaming Eagles. 18 to 4 here. As Talia Hatch is your server, Abigail Smith will check into the game first time tonight. She'll report to duty on the net. Great serve right there. Talia almost just got the ace. It's going to go out of bounds. And a great save right there by number six. But it's going to go out of bounds. And the point goes to the Screaming Eagles. Screaming Eagles are soaring high right now. That serve was to the back. They'll set it up and fire that one over. And that one's given to Cottle. He's going to shank off the wrist of, looks like, Smith. Go out of bounds. And right now, Holloway is be your server. Holloway fires that one over. Sullivan had it on the other side. Here comes Smith. Almost found a hole. Closed up nicely. Number 20 goes up. That one's denied by Smith and Glor. They're going to try it again. Bounds a little too far over. And out of bounds. Twenty to five. Here comes Rainwater. Great serve right there. Barely gets it over the net, and Rainwater almost had an ace right there. Here comes Hall. Hall fires it to the other side. Number twenty will hit it over, but it's going to be out of bounds. Twenty-one five is the score. Rainwater to the back. They'll set it up, and a big shot right there, handled nicely by Teresa Sullivan. Here comes Rainwater again, Phipps on the other side. They'll shoot it over, Smith had a hand on it, Glor will fire it over. We have good volley, and that one shanks out of bounds, and a great athletic move right there by Kaylee Glor will get us the point and send Rainwater back to the service line for the third time in a row. And checking in for your Screaming Eagles, number 12, Kaya Miles. First time in tonight is Rainwater. Fires that one to the back. Phipps had that one. They'll call it and fire it over. Sullivan to the back. Here comes number 12, Kaya Miles. A little too much pepper on that one, and it flies out of bounds. Twenty-two to six is number nine. Gracie Charles checks in for the Screaming Eagles, and Nicholson will be the server. 
Emma Nicholson is a junior out of Centerville, Tennessee. Here comes Abigail Smith. Great shot right there. Handled nicely on the other side. Phipps will fire it over, but it's going to be out of bounds. And Teresa Sullivan back to serve. Went six in a row last time. Only need two right here. To the back. They'll set it up. That one's going to be tipped over. Charles on the other side. Glor sets it up for Thompson, and Thompson makes him pay. Great shot right there by Natalie Thompson, and we are now at set point. One finger in the air for Eagle Nation. Sullivan fires it over the other side. They're going to try to return it. Number six gets up, blocked up front by Natalie Thompson. Again blocked, and a great move right there by Natalie Thompson, but it will find the court before it goes over. Now 24-7. Phipps back to serve. Still set point. Glor sets it up for Thompson. Thompson fires that one. It's not going to be returned. And the game goes to Screaming Eagles. 25-7, to the final score in set number one. And we'll head to set number two in about three minutes for a recap of senior night. We'll be back. Welcome back, Screaming Eagles fans, to Lois Delaney Athletic Center on homecoming weekend at TFC. Your Screaming Eagles are leading right now, one set to nothing. Won the first one 25 to 7. Tonight is also, or today I guess, is senior night for the volleyball girls. As you heard right now, Caitlin Widener's in the house tonight. Graduated last year. And the fans are giving her some love right here. Anyway, we have two seniors on the team tonight. It's going to be Katie Hall and Caroline Miller. And right now, I will go over what was read to the fans here at 2 o'clock for Katie. Here we go. Katie is from Flowery Branch, Georgia, and is the daughter of Vic and Pam Hall. She'll be graduating in May of 2019 with a Bachelor of Science degree in Counseling and Psychology. After graduation, Katie plans on becoming a certified trial life specialist, 
so that she can work with children who are undergoing cancer treatments as well as supporting their families. Katie has played four seasons with the Screaming Eagles, and after the last four years, she has played 416 sets, accumulated 848 kills, 151 aces, 16 solo blocks, 44 assisted blocks, 1,238 digs, and 38 assists. For the NCAA Division II South Region, Katie has been awarded second team All-American for her 2015 and 2016 seasons, as well as first team All-Region in 2017. She'll be also awarded the Scholar Athlete Award in 2017 and in 2018. When Coach Slate asked Katie to share a few words about her time at TFC, along with a few words of advice to the returning teammates, she said this. I love how supported the student body is of volleyball girls. They're always, they always a constant encouragement to us. Also, Coach Slade and Coach B push us further into our Christ, into Christ daily. And that's what playing volleyball is to me, honoring Christ. To her teammates, she says, continue to push one another in love. In the middle of the season, when the assignments are piling high and you're tired of work and even tired of each other, choose love. Remember what Paul says in 1st and 2nd Thessalonians and strive to give and receive that love. Ladies and gentlemen, Number six out of Flowery Branch, Georgia, the senior, Katie Branch Hall. Good time to tune in right there as Natalie Thompson made him pay. And serving now will be Kaylee Glore, number 15. First time the score has been tied since zero to zero. They'll set it up. That's gonna be fired over. Glore on the other side will handle that one. But it's going to go tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Hall. And the Tigers will take their first lead of the night. Holloway will be the server. And she'll find some real estate next to Gracie Charles. And the first ace for the Tigers will go right there to number 13, Cassidy Holloway. A freshman out of Greenville, Tennessee. She hits that one over. Charles was ready for it that time. She'll set it up for Miller. Miller finds a hole. And the senior will get the kill. Four to three. Tigers lead as number six, Katie Hall, will be the server. Hall fires that one to the back. They're going to try to return it. They'll set it up. That one's fired by number two, Cottle. And it's too much to handle for the Screaming Eagles. It'll fly out of bounds. And the Tigers will take that one. Hawassi did get the point, but a great effort right there by number 13, Teresa Sullivan, who dives out of bounds to try to save that one. Sorry, number... That was number six on the serve, and number seven, Hallie Rainwater, and our team decides to put one in there. Rainwater's had a great night tonight, as Thompson will be the server. To the back, they'll set it up and fire it over. Thompson was ready for it. Glore puts it in the air, and Hall will push it over and get back on defense. They'll try it again. That one was tipped up front and find some real estate. And the kill was given to Jones, and Jones will be the server. Jones delivers. Miller went down to get that one. They're going to push it right back over. And the point is awarded to the Tigers, who take a 7-4 lead here. Jones back again to serve. Courtney's a sophomore out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. And she puts that one into the net. And serving so now will be, num excuse me, will be number 16, Talia Hatch. Trying to come back right here. Only down by two points. That one was a beautiful serve. Barely got over the net. And that one's going to be fired into the net by the Tigers. And the point goes to the Screaming Eagles. Hatch went four in a row last set when she was up. Looking for that right now. Beautiful serve again. They'll set it up. That one's denied up front. 
Kerry and Glore tag team that one. Glore will set it up. Here comes Kerry. Had to back off that a little bit. Phelps on the other side. Almost found a hole as Phipps got it over. Great diving save right there by Katie Hall. And Talia Hatch booms that one out of bounds. A little too much power behind that. Holloway to serve. Beautiful shot right there by Rainwater. It will be returned. Back on our side. Glor sets it up. Here comes Aaron Carey. Returned by number six. Here comes Carey again. She's going to try it again, but out of bounds. But a net violation penalty called on the Tigers, and the point goes to the Screaming Eagles. Rainwater to serve. Trailing by one right here. And that was a beautiful shot. Found the corner right there by number 20. Gracie Charles comes into the game for the Screaming Eagles. Nicholson to serve. She gets the signal. And fires that one over to the back. And a little too far and out of bounds. Great discipline right there by Talia Hatch because that was so close. And Talia backed off. We got the point and the send Sullivan back to serve. Teresa's a junior from Fairhope, Alabama. That one's fired out of bounds. And just like that, TFC ties it back up at nine. Trying to win here on homecoming. To the back, they'll set it up. And that one's denied by Natalie Thompson. <laughs> Sullivan back to serve for number three. She went six in a row in last set. She's halfway there with the lead, 10 to nine. Thompson sets, sets it. Here comes Hall. Hall's gonna be blocked up front. And the pancake won't work as it goes in. And 11 to nine is now the score. Teresa goes back again, fires that one, tips the net on the way over, and a great athletic play right there by number 33, Scherzer. They're going to try it again. A great save by number six. A great save on the other side by Talia Hatch. Another diving save. Back to back to back dives right there for both teams. Here comes uh, Thompson, and Thompson puts a little too much on it, goes out of bounds. Wow. Phipps back to serve. And that's going to be out of bounds. The point goes to the Screaming Eagles. We'll give Glor a two point lead as she'll be the server. Kaylee's a junior, 5'8 out of Austell, Georgia. She finds the back corner. They'll fire that one. Sullivan had a hand on it. But a net violation called on the Tigers. And it'll be now 13 to 10 as Glor will be the server again. Big shot by Glor. They'll set it up. Denied up front by Caroline Miller. They'll shank out of bounds. Lead cut to two. Glor sets it up. Here comes Miller. Redemption shot is in there. And Caroline Miller finds the back corner. Katie Hall back to serve. Rainwater checks in as Gracie Charles will take a seat. Jump serve by Hall is up and over. Big shot right there by number four, Natalie Thompson. They set it up for her and she made them pay with one right down the throats of the Tigers. 15 to 11. That'll back him off the net a little bit. 
Hall to the back, and Hall will get the ace. Ace number three for the Screaming Eagles as the Tigers will call a timeout down by five. 16 to 11, Screaming Eagles lead. We'll be back. Welcome back to Lois Delaney Athletic Center. 16 to 11 is the score. Screaming Eagles lead as Katie Hall will fire her third in a row over the net. Got an ace a second ago. Phipps on the other side. They'll fire that one over. And Courtney Jones will have the kill right there. I also do not have number seven on my roster, so I'm not sure who, who that one is. But Natalie Thompson back on our side will be the server. They'll set it up. That one's fired over. Thompson a jumping set right there. As Hall will push it over, get back on defense in a 17-12 game. Hall to Glore to Rainwater. Rainwater finds the corner. Beautiful placement right there by Hallie Rainwater. Gives the point to TFC. 18 to 12 is the score. And Thompson checks bat for serve number two. Floats over. They'll set it up and Jones fires it over. And that one's out of bounds. Takoa finding a little traction right here. Fires it over. Middleton sets it up. That one's fired into the court on our side. Point goes to the Tigers. And number three, Jessica Conley checks into the game. Her first time in tonight. She's a freshman, 5'8", out of Snefner, Florida. Been a few games since we've seen Jessica. And she has a great diving save right there as her first touch as Carey gets it over. That one's tipped. Conley puts it over. She's showing out tonight. Carey puts it backwards. Glore sets it up for Rainwater. Rainwater hits the net on the way over. Middleton will set it up. They'll push it over. Denied by Aaron Carey. Back over the net. We have a good volley. Here comes Carey again. Carey gets it over. They're a little, they can't get it. Number six left late, and it's going to fall next to her. And the volley goes to the Screaming Eagles. 20 to 13, and Jessica Conley will be the server. Her first serve is up and good. Phipps on the other side. Backpedaling hit over there on the other side. Here comes Rainwater. Rainwater puts it in there. Great save right there. Lore sets it up. Here comes Carey again. They can't save that one, but a net violation called on Aaron Carey. And the Tigers will get the point 20 to 14. Number six, back to serve. Conley puts it over. They'll set it up for number 20. That one's going to be nine up front. Glore goes up. Here comes Hall. Beautiful form right there by Hall. Hall gets it again. Here comes Sullivan. And Rainwater will be the one that puts it over. Another elongated volley. Denied up front. By Carey and Glore. Carey got a hand on it. Glore got a hand on it. Here comes Rainwater again. Back on their side. Out of bounds. They'll save it in. And get it over, but it's going to not go over, actually. It's going to hit the net. And the point goes to TFC after another great volley. And then will send Hallie Rainwater back to serve. 
And number eight, Gabby Klingman checked into the game. She's a 5'8 junior from Willington, Ohio. Her first time in tonight. It's good to see some of the bench players getting a little playing time. That one's hit to the back. Did anyone touch it? Mm, looks like somebody touched it. Goes out of bounds. Point goes to the Tigers. Gracie Charles checks into the game. Schneider checks in. And the server will be Nicholson. Big serve right there. Jessica Conley goes down to dig that one out. Here comes Hall. Hall puts it on the other side. They'll return it. Charles had that one. Here comes Kleeman. Kleeman punches it over, gets back on defense. Charles to Glore to Hall. Hall's going to be denied up front. She was waiting on it, though. Here comes Charles. Gracie Charles gets it in there. Phipps has it. It's going to go out of bounds. Another great save, and number six will put it over for the Tigers. Another great volley. Here comes number six, Katie Hall. They're not going to return that one. Fitz could not get it over the net, and the senior from Flowery Branch, Georgia, number six, Katie Hall, will get the kill. 22 to 15, as Teresa Sullivan back to serve. It's a good time to tell you about the homecoming giveaway that Eagle Production is sponsoring this year, as Gracie Charles tried that one. Give away five t-shirts. All you have to do is follow us on Instagram, Subscribe to our YouTube channel that you're watching right now, TFC Eagle Vision, and tag us in your favorite Screaming Eagle picture. Then have to, just something with the Screaming Eagles, tag us in it, and you'll be entered to win a t-shirt. Started the other day, it will close tonight, so hurry up and do it, and we will announce the winners on Monday. Again, follow us on Instagram, subscribe to this YouTube channel, then tag us in a picture on Instagram of your favorite Screaming Eagle picture. And they'll be entered to win. Twenty-three to seventeen is the score. Screaming Eagle still on top. Here on homecoming weekend, that one's fired over. Charles to Glore to Natalie Thompson, and Thompson finds the corner. And it is now set point here at TFC with Katie Hall at the helm. One finger in the air, Eagle Nation on their feet. Hall fires it over on their side. Phipps goes down to get that one. They'll barely get it set up. And that one's going to hit the antenna and go out of bounds. And your Screaming Eagles will take set number two, 25 to 17. Another great set by the Screaming Eagles. Tigers were a little more competitive that time, scored 10 more points. But we'll come on top. And we'll be back in five minutes for set number three, and we'll start with Caroline Miller as the senior of the set.
today's match, immediately following today's match, our two seniors, Katie Hall and Caroline Miller, would like to take pictures with all of their friends down at the end of the gym down here by where their signs are. So if you're a friend of theirs, get ready to get your picture taken. Welcome back to Lois Delaney Athletic Center for set number three against Hiawassee College Tigers. The Scranton Eagles are leading 2 nothing right now. Won the first set 25-7 and the second set 25-17. And tonight is also senior night, honoring the two seniors, Katie Hall, which I honored last set. And now it's time to honor number 14, Caroline Miller. Caroline is from Tampa, Florida and is the daughter of Ron and Cheryl Miller. She will graduate in May of 2019 with a Bachelor of Science degree in Sports Management. After graduation, she plans on furthering her education with a Master's degree through Ohio University. This is her first, fourth season playing with the Screaming Eagles volleyball team. Over the last four seasons, she has played 378 sets, accumulated 250 kills, 16 aces, 32 solo blocks, 43 assisted blocks, 208 digs, and 67 assists. When Coach Slate asked Caroline to share a few words about her time at TFC, as well as some advice for the returning teammates, this is what she wrote. Even though I never thought I would have to make the decision to move 10 hours away and become a Screaming Eagle, I believe that God has really led me down the best path I've ever been on. Being able to follow him and make this decision changed my life, in a positive way, of course. Right when I walked on campus, I felt a difference in the community that I'd ever felt going to public schools all of my life. When I walked to the falls, chills were sent down my body, and I knew that God was calling me here and had a purpose for me. To her teammates, she says, I want you to never forget your self-worth, and always remember you are more than enough. Do not let anything else tell you differently. Always put your faith and trust in God, and He will never let you down. When you seem to be facing struggles, you may not have seen the light then, but don't forget that you will, along with myself, have so many prayer warriors behind you. In closing thoughts, she said, I wanted to thank all the parents and the fans that stood alongside me and our team throughout the years. Coach Sled and Coach B, thank you for stepping in and being there for me on and off the court. I am so grateful. I have two strong-willed, godly women in my life that I can always look up to. Love you both. To my parents, thank you for the, con the constant love and support that you've given me through the years, the last four years playing the sport that I love and always making things possible. I will never be able to thank you enough. Love you, Mom and Dad. Ladies and gentlemen, number 14, Carol Miller. As the Screaming Eagles have taken a 6-0 lead, timeout called by the Tigers. We'll be back. Welcome back, TFC fans, to Lois Delaney Athletic Center. 7 nothing's a score as Teresa Sullivan will be your server again. Serve number seven is up and over. They'll return it on the other side. They'll set it up for Aaron Carey, and Aaron Carey gets the point. 8 nothing now. And the biggest streak for the Screaming Eagles right here. Hey, join us today at 6.30 for the alumni men's basketball game. That's going to be a lot of fun, laid-back atmosphere. And right after that, we'll have come homecoming court, and we will be crowning the new homecoming queen. By the way, in the running for homecoming queen is number six, Katie Hall. Serve number nine is up and over, and Sullivan is on a roll right here. They'll set it over. Hall on the other side. Lore sets it up. Here comes Gracie Charles. Charles almost found a hole, and they'll barely get it over. And they'll set it up again for Hall. 
Phipps on the other side. And it's going to shank out of bounds. And now the reach of Phipps. And the point again will go to the Screaming Eagles. As we are on a 10-0 lead. Serve number 10 is on its way. Glore sets it up. Here comes Hall. All the way to the bat with Phipps. They'll set it up for number 20. Denied up front. And Phipps will fire it over. Sullivan to Glore to Carey. Carey puts it in there. Phipps hits it out of bounds. And Aaron Carey, another great shot. And Teresa Sullivan will go back for serve number 11. Last person I've seen go this many was Talia Hatch last season, who went 24 in a row. Let's see if Sullivan can do it right here for the homecoming crowd. Lore sets it up for Carey. Can she do it again? Yes, she can. And Aaron Carey finds the corner. Serve number 12 is up and over. Teresa Sullivan coming off the MVP game of Thursday. And here comes Carey. Carey puts it over. And the MVP of Tuesday is making some noise. 13 to 0 is the score. And serve number 13 is over. And that's going to find the corner and break the streak, but not before 13 serves in a row by Teresa Sullivan. Phipps back to serve. Over the net, Hall digs that one out. And sets it up for Talia Hatch, who fires that one in there and gets the kill. Now, number 15, Kaylee Gore, back to serve. The senior, number 14, Carol Miller, checks into the game as Gore fires that one over. Gracie Charles also checked into the game. Gore on the other side, Miller sets it up, and Carey boots it over. That was handled by number two, Courtney Jones. Jones will find some real estate, and the Tigers will score again, 14 to two. And that one's fired into the net, and the point goes to TFC. Service by Holloway, by the way. And now the senior, Katie Hall, is back to serve. 15 to two. Hall fires it over. They'll set it up for Jones. Jones fires it in there. Too much to handle for Glore. Shanks out of bounds. 15 to three is the score. Number six back to serve. She fires that one over. Hall on the other side. They'll set it up. This time for Carey. Carey boots it over. On the other side, number seven has that one. And that one's denied by Aaron Carey. <laughs> 16 to three is a score as number one, Abigail Smith checks into the game. And who's gonna be the server? It's going to be number 10, Aaron Carey. First time we've seen her serve tonight. And Carey boots one to the back. Almost found a corner. They'll set it up for number six, and that one's out of bounds. And Carey will get another shot at serving. 17 to three. And number eight, Gabby Klingman checks into the game. Carey delivers. They'll set it up. That one's fired over. Glor on the other side. Miller sets it up for Klingman. Klingman puts it over. And they will return this one. That one's denied by number 11, Abigail Smith. Abigail's a 5'11 sophomore out of Oxford, Florida. Excuse me, out of Westminster, South Carolina. That one's booted out of bounds, out of bounds. 
And Aaron Carey goes back to the service line. 19 to three is the score as number 12, Kaya Miles will check into the game. Miller will take a seat and carries on a roll right here. That's return, Hall to her knees. Glor sets it up for Klingman. Klingman fires into the corner! And number eight, Gabby Klingman comes up big. And a timeout is called by the Tigers and we'll be back in one minute. One of the three here, as Gabby Klingman will be the server. And Screaming Eagles fans, go and subscribe and follow TFC Eagle Vision on Instagram. You can see good exclusives. We'll do player spotlights that we do every week, team member spotlights, and other exclusives. We'll always let you know when we're about to go live. TFC Eagle Vision on Instagram. Back to the game. Katie Hall fired that one over. Number six on the other side. Conley sets it up. Here comes Klingman. Klingman gets it over to Phipps. They'll return it with Jones. Denied up front by Smith. They'll push it over. Conley to the ground. Klingman gets it up, and Conley fires it over. And that one, a great crawling save right there by Phipps. He went to the ground and crawled her way to get to that one. And Smith and Klingman looked at each other on that one. It fell between them. And 20 to 4 is now the score. Hall went down, Conley set it up, and a double contact violation on Conley. 20 to five as Jones will be the server once again. Courtney Jones fires that one into the net, and the point goes to the Screaming Eagles. And now back to serve, number 12, Kaya Miles. First time we've seen her serve tonight. Miles fires that one over. A lot of power behind that one. They'll return it with number 20, but it shanked out of bounds. And Miles will go back to serve again. Katie Hall checks out of the game for a second. And that one's fired over, but a little too much on it. And it shanks out of bounds. Miles fires it out. 22 to 6 is the score. That one cleared the net. Smith on the other, excuse me, Miles on the other side. Conley went to the net to get that one. And he'll fall down. And Talia Hatch will come in and take out Miles. Here comes Klingman and cannot clear the net on that one. Point goes to the Tigers. 22 to 8 is now the score. Well, college football fans have a couple upsets in the making right now. Tennessee is beating Auburn 30 to 17. And just until about two minutes ago, Vanderbilt was leading. Now Florida's up 34 24. But Vandy still has time to come back as that one's fired out of bounds. 22 to 9. Out 
out of bounds. And that will bring us to 23 to nine as Hallie Rainwater will check into the game and Hallie will be the server. Again, I'll remind you, come back here about 6.30 to see the alumni men's basketball game. Conley sets it up. <laughs> and Smith went up to get that one and whiffed on it. I think she thought that Rainwater was coming in behind it, but she was not. Gracie Charles will come into the game. And Coach Slate trying to give some of the freshmen and sophomores a little playing time here. Get some experience under their belt. Natalie Thompson's in the game, by the way. That one's over. Hatch went down to get that one. Conley sets it up for Thompson. Thompson makes him pay. Guess what time it is in Eagle Nation. It is match point, 24 to 10. One finger in the air. Eagle Nation on their feet. Trying to win this one for homecoming weekend. And Sullivan puts a little too much pepper on that one. And out of bounds. Phipps will be the server over there, but it's still match point again. One finger in the air. Eagle Nation on their feet. Phipps fires that one over. Hatch on the other side. Conley sets it up. Here comes Thompson. Thompson's blocked up front, but goes out of bounds. And Natalie Thompson with the kill. 25 to 11 is the final score. And your Screaming Eagles will topple the Tigers of Hiawassee College. That will move your Screaming Eagles up to 18 and six on the season here in homecoming weekend. Crowds giving up for the seniors. Just out, outmatched opponent today as Screaming Eagles dominated the Tigers. 25 to seven was the first score, 25 17 was the second one. And the last one was 25 to 11. That did include um, Coach Slate putting all of the, the bench players in. And it was 22 to 7 for a long time. Thank you again for joining us here on TFC Eagle Vision. That about wraps it up here. The MVP today will be number six, Katie Hall, as she's had a lot of great serves, key blocks, and a couple of really nice kills. And again, we honored the seniors today, Carol Miller and Katie Hall. We thank you for all your service. And for all of us here at Eagle Production, manager with CC Angus. Social media coordinator was Lydia Licks. Your filmers today were Elise Poorman and Sam Ennis. And I am Will Jones, voice of the Screaming Eagles. And we'll see you at 6.30 on TFC Eagle Vision.